some pictures in the air box. And now we are on cruise. Another flight to the Faroe Islands. As you can see, it can over display and it can lower display. Over display and lower display. Right now it's on the cruise page. We can see right here. We're using 1870 kilos of fuel on this side, 1840 kilos on that side. Control. We've been used, or we have used 3730 kilos by now. If I just take you to the other econ up here, you can actually see fuel on board and also the fuel burn right now, fuel flow, kilo per hour on each engine. Cruise page, oil quantity, vibration in one and then two, both engines. Here for the pressurization. Landing elevation is Alto, 300 feet, sit on the Faroe Islands. Delta pressure right now, 8 psi. And the cabin is, bird speed is of course 0 feet per minute. Cabin altitude right now, 7,100 feet. Temperature in the back, 24 here in the uh, front, forward cabin, just uh, beside me, or in the back, behind me. 24 and in the aft 24. Set temperature, set temperature, that's set is still air temperature, minus 52 degrees centigrade. It's a plus 4 degrees above ISA standard. Right now we've set 10,973 meters, time is 2008. And this is our weight right now, 61.8. Uh, up here in the selector box. 36,000 36, feet. This is the uh, engine page, bleed page, pressurization, electrical, two very nice generators working right now. And of course we do have an emergency generator as well, and the APU generator. Hydraulic, three systems, green, blue and yellow. Fuel page. You can see all our fuel is very nice distributed in all the uh, wings. Here's the temperature of the fuel. And right now we have fuel on board, 7,140 kilos. And we are using 38 kilos per minute. APU. Air condition. The doors. All closed and all the slides are armed. The wheel, flight controls, yeah, that was just a little uh, showing of the uh, Ica. And again, another empty coffee cup. Don't know what's on there. And this is the route we are coming up to Gomba. This is just north of the Shetland Islands. Can try and turn on the terrain. There we go. Now you're able to see the Shetland Islands over here. Make a little left turn. This is our top of uh, descent. And this is the Faroe Islands. Try and go into the plan mode. Zoom down a little bit. And we can take a look at the uh, approach. Go. We're going from Robor and then into Aga. Like this. Okay, what is a flight without a view outside? Let's try and take it outside. 
Oh, there we go. Check into Reykjavik then. Squawk 2252, fly level 360, Mark Max Robo, Mark Max So we're now approaching the top of descent, meaning we're going to tell the MCDU here a little bit about the destination data. As you see, enter destination data. We have already chosen the uh, approach we're going to do today. Up here, like this. That has already been chosen. And then we go to the right now, where we choose uh, the VRA. We are using the localizer for 1012. And we're going to use an NDB called Victor Golf as well for the flight. Next thing, progress. Gonna make sure that the GPS primary and the accuracy is high. Into Varga, 12, 137 miles still to go. Under the performance, we put in the weather data just received, QNH 1020. Like this. The temperature was 12 degrees. 10 degrees. Wind was 130 at 10 knots. And then of course we'll put in the minimum. I'll just find the uh, approach space here in a little while. And config full for the flight. The go around, thrust reduction, acceleration and engine one out. I will set that according to the procedure here in a couple of seconds. Fuel prediction, quite a lot of fuel, one hour and 10 minutes extra. And our weight 61.1, which is uh, way below. Max landing mass of 62.5. We put in 2.9 trip fuel for the alternate, and the final is 30 minutes, 1.1. Secondary flight plan make a copy of the active, and we'll put in an approach called localizer approach for runway 12 via Mike the Yankee. That's our secondary flight plan. Then we go up here and choose the outer break right here. Select that uh, medium like this. Yeah. And we are almost ready to do the approach. Cheers.